as you can probably tell by the dim sum and the beautiful view behind me. I'm in Hong Kong. I mean, how amazing is this view? And I think it's fair to say today I'm definitely taking my love of dim sum to new heights. This is fabulous. might be known for its dim sum and its barbecue pork, but this is a distinctly international city. You can see it just walking down the street. And bet you believe this multiculturalism is reflected in the food scene here in Hong Kong. So today is going to be a Hong Kong global food tour. Time to get some chips. Um, what's your favorite thing to eat in Hong Kong? There are so many restaurants in Man Khoi Fong, international food, and I love to eat uh, burgers. Like, okay. Are you from Hong Kong? I'm French. So why did you come to Hong Kong? Uh, I came to Hong Kong because I love Asia and I love China. So basically it's a good mix between like Europe, the US, it's in the middle of everything. You can have great food, international food. So it's the best city to live. So I'm here at Lang Kwai Fong. I'm off to find this hamburger place and you can definitely tell this is a very international area. I'm passing all cuisines here. Okay, I'm here at Beef and Liberty, and I am so excited for my burger. Well, that looks amazing. <laughs> so good. Are you from Hong Kong? I am. How come so many Hong Kong people can speak such good English? So for me, I studied English at an international school, so that's why I grew up speaking English, even if people went to a local school, um, they still teach English there, so I think that's why. And Hong Kong's a really internationalized um, city. Yeah. What's your favorite thing to eat in Hong Kong? You should definitely go and try the egg sandwiches at the um, Australian Dairy Company. Huge line here. Whoa, uh, that was uh, quite intense. Um, so I went in and started filming and I was asked to delete everything. Uh, filming not allowed inside and this is a photo of what the inside looked like. Very not what I was expecting. I thought I was going to an Australian brunch cafe or something for scrambled eggs on toast but it, it had a very Cantonese vibe. Now I'm just really curious where this egg sandwich concept came from and why it seems to be a Hong Kong staple. So I'm here at another dairy company to see if I can film here. Here we are, the notorious Hong Kong egg sandwich. See so yeah, a very non-typical Chinese breakfast, but I think it just shows how influenced Hong Kong food scene and food culture has been from other countries in the last hundred years due to its international vibe. So yeah, I'm all for it. What's your favorite thing to eat in Hong Kong? If you love Indian food, you should go to Chicken Mansion. It's the best. Okay, I'm here at Chongqing Mansions and there is so much diverse food here. Lebanese, Sri Lankan, Pakistani, Indian, African, everything. There's so much culture in here. So I think the global business environment of Hong Kong is perfectly encapsulated here in Chongqing Mansions. There are people from all around the world coming here to do business and bringing their awesome food with them too. So I'm here at the House of Curry and I'm sitting down with the wonderful Abdin. Hi, my friend. He's my favorite person yeah. in Hong Kong. Where are you from? I'm from India, South India. Why did you come to Hong Kong? My dad bring me when I was young. How young? 13 years old. Wow. Whoa! Hong Kong is an international city. Very good place to do business. Yeah, very good place. Yeah. Yeah, making money. <laughs> yeah. Is it good curry in House of Curry? Yeah, very good taste. This is Dosa. Thank you. Oh, great dosa. Bye bye, Amy. Nice to meet you. <laughs> See you next time. We see you in Beijing. Yes. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Hong Kong is such a unique blend of Chinese and Western culture, a real bridge between China and the rest of the world. I really love it here. I don't think I could have chosen a better spot to finish off my Greater Bay Area adventures. This is Victoria Peak, a must-see place in Hong Kong. I've had such an amazing few weeks of exploration and between you and me, I don't think I'm ready to say goodbye to all the amazing food in this region, but luckily I came prepared. Bye, y'all.